Your guardian angel is never been incarnated in human form. Gotcha. And neither were the any of the archangels. Now there's seven major archangels. There's about 27 that I've studied that all have specific jobs. And what the archangels are the closest to God. So they're like his his if you think of a football team, right? They're they're his the starting lineman. lineup. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. They're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. the ones that are closest to God. And gotcha. then when they go down, then you have your, your helper angels and your healing angels, and then you have your spirit guides. Now your spirit guides are have incarnated in human form. Okay, okay. So that's the, the difference that, gotcha. uh, with that. And those are the ones that can relate to certain situations that are going on in your life because they've experienced. They've walked, yeah, walked that path. Right. Okay. And, uh, so that, so you can always, so, you know, then I always had the question, I'm like, oh, so our loved ones that have passed aren't really angels, they're spirit guides. So that's, yeah, that's what you're saying. They're, they're not your guardian angel, guardian yeah. angels, different they, your guides are. They are yeah. our angels in heaven. They, we usually use that term, but when you're connecting with them, they become your spirit guides. Gotcha. And they're going to assist you through life. But with that being said, you have to give them permission to intervene because it's free will. So uh, angels will guide you and they will um, protect you and they will always provide the assistance, sometimes in not ways that you think, right? Sometimes they show up in different ways. But if you don't ask permission and you don't, you aren't ready to step through the door. Like they'll open the doors to for a new opportunity. But if mm -hmm. you're still stuck in fear or regret or need forgiveness, and you won't be able to, they no angel can really help you if you're not willing willing to help yourself. Work.